Hi, welcome to The Pursuit of Truth. It is the 11th of April. Um, so you just heard the Sky News report, which alerted me to the uh, Gateshead issue with the lamps. Now, obviously, I don't know much about this. I just checked on YouTube to actually find uh, a real video. There was a, a Gateshead Council meeting. This seems to be a long time ago. This was dated the 24th of November 2017. So this is not a new issue by the sounds of it. And um, it was Mark Steele um, was talking, was reading out some questions and some answers that he was giving. I assume he's some form of expert in it. And it's interesting how he first wanted to, so the council all sit in the desk at the front, you know, in their garb and stuff. They're the ones in charge behind the desk in front of you, like at school the teacher being at front <laughs> and they is their meeting even though the government the council everything is there to serve you isn't it isn't that what what it's all about isn't that what it's meant to be it is isn't it they serve us isn't it they take money from us and they make the best decisions for us so he then tries to talk as they would say off script and they try and tell him no 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 keep to the questions keep to the questions and what he wants to do is he wants to clarify um, some misinformation that the council have given out, yeah? Obviously they don't want him to say that. Why is it that when you go into places you have to follow their rules? But they, I mean, it's like, you know, if you, if you get, um, if they're, if you're late in giving some payment, you get charged, isn't it? But if they're ever late in giving some payment, you, you can't say, well, no, you were late, so you need to, you need to pay me this percentage because you were late. <laughs> anyway, so that's a different matter, but let, let's, Keep to the facts that you know he was trying to clarify that they'd made a mistake, that they were suggesting that there wasn't um, there wasn't harmful effects, and the reason is is because they and this is this happens a lot in these in these studies. They will look at certain things and believe that only certain things can cause problems. And so obviously, if you just if you don't if you don't look at the whole issue, if you just centre on what you think you know, you know, like if you say that say only radiation can cause you harm. You know, maybe wave patterns can't, you know, something like that, you know, and you just look at just the radiation. If there are any problems with the wave, you'll never see them because you never study them because you've already confined your study. And you get a lot of this where, I, I think I mentioned this before in Pursuit of Truth about um, what was it to do with where they did some studies and they they later found out there was something wrong with it, but they, it's just because they didn't, um, they don't uh, study for that second part. I can't remember what that was. And the, the important caveat first, I suppose, is to think that, you know, is it possible that people in power could, uh, and, and, and people who are researching things and checking things would have an agenda or, or would make mistakes? Well, we know that with the, with the breast implants, we know about them that they were recalled because there was something wrong with them, that they can be damaging and that women had to have operations to remove them. The vaginal mesh incident recently in the UK that now they, they've stopped. So there's lots of times where there are, and I'm sure there are with drugs as well, where they will be released, they go through testing, they come out and then suddenly years later you find out there was something wrong like, um, was it Primados or Primador or whatever it is, the, the drug that used to give pregnant women, now they found it gives ab abnormalities. You know, even though they're stringent tests, how come they didn't see these things? Or did they see these things and they covered up and thought the risk was very, very small? That's probably the truth of it. So we know that there are, and this is just the ones I know of, I'm sure that there's loads more things where they've released things to the public, maintaining health and safety, and yet somehow, despite that, there seems to be problems with them and then they're recalled and stopped and they have to pay lawsuits and etc. This goes on with cars, goes on with all sorts of things. Maybe it's a human, uh, what was I going to say, human errors. You know, all part of our, you know, that we're not uh, computers so we make mistakes. So we know it is possible that they could believe that, yeah, this is perfectly fine technology, not going to cause you any trouble. But the thing they've got to listen to, and as a council they should be listening, if there's lots of their, um, uh, people writing to them independently and saying that they've got this problem, this problem since they put up these lamps, well, then you've got to 
you, or what you're just going to do is ignore them. But that's what they do. Is unless there's a large amount of people, that's when, only when they do something because they don't care about the individual. They care about collective. <laughs> but I guess you know you can't. If if you ran a government by one person, you know everything would get shut down, wouldn't it? Because you don't need one person to shut it down. So this is the Times article: the street lights will not give you cancer. Gates said council tells conspiracy theorists to lighten up. <laughs> There's the conspiracy theorist word in there. That rubbishes everything by using that word. It is uh, it's an FBI or CIA, whichever it is, the FBI terminology that's de is, it was invented to be able to put things in a, in a box so that you could just say, yeah, conspiracy theory, you don't have to believe in that. And it goes, secret government transmitters attached to street lights that cause and cancer include nosebleeds and miscarriages, killing birds and insects, or so the conspiracy theories claim. Gateshead Council in North East has led issues of public statements debunking the sway, the theories about street... Oh, it didn't print it out nicely. That's no, no rush. And I printed it out in the mail as well. Theirs was the town facing a humanitarian crisis caused by the radiation from state-of-the-art street lamps. Use the words their humanitarian crisis in speech bubbles. I assume that they interviewed someone and they called it humanitarian crisis. Obviously it's not humanitarian crisis because we, we, we use that terminology when we're talking about, you know, millions of people getting killed. The thing is, is it's easy for journalists to do this. You interview 10 people, you find the, the one who's a little bit more crazier than the others, you know, and you use their words over the ones that sound more sensible, so therefore you can easily just, uh, people who read it can read into that conspiracy bubble and say, yeah, yeah, crazy people. But you see how they use the word humanitarian crisis versed with state of the art lamp. State of the art, the word used to suggest something that is, you know, up to date, modern, trustworthy. Residents have endured insomnia, nosebleeds, and even stillbirth, scientists claim. Mark Steele was aware of three women who lost babies since the lights were installed. Radiation given off by state-of-the-art street lamps is wrecking havoc on residents of Gateshead. According to the local scientist Mark Steele, 58 people living in the area experienced symptoms of insomnia, nosebleeds, and several women have endured the horrors of stillbirth since the introduction of LED lamps that emit 5G radiation. And then it goes on. And that one uh, seems a bit better. It does have a bit more fact on it. It doesn't seem to be poo-pooing as much, despite the title. The Metro, as nobody believes, Gateshead Council smokescreen denial about 5G in their streetlights, smokescreen in speech bubbles. Get your tinfoil hat on, people. <laughs> there again, straight away with uh, an insult, with ridicule. Can we really believe Gateshead Council when they claim they have not installed 5G in their street lamps? They can cause cancer, miscarriage, or a nosebleed if you are underneath them. And they might even have sinister mind-controlling surveillance powers. Bizarrely, this is a real conspiracy that's going around, and plenty of people think the council is trying to pull the wool over their eyes by denying it. Warnings are going around social media that new LED lights kill birds and insects, and they've been fitted with 5G as part of a government trial. Gateshead Council released an official statement denying it. Gateshead Council does not use 5G technology in any of its street lamps or in any other capacity. It has never done so. The street lamp lights in Gateshead will not give you cancer. The street lamps will not include induce miscarriage in pregnant women, etc., etc., etc. They said that they've taken advice from Public Health England about the lights which use LED technology so the light brightens can be adjusted. We are aware of the statement reads, we are aware of that certain individuals are frightened, frightening local people with false stories about the streetlights in Gateshead, despite the fact that we and others have told them repeatedly that their allegations are entirely false. So Mark Steele, who's a scientist, and he's countering that story. Obviously Gateshead Council have got a vested interest in... in in saying that it's not going to cause any problems because even if they did know it was going to, it might cause some little problems. That, like, you know, there, there are when they do research, especially like into medication, they do trials. And you know, you, you've read a packet of medicine, haven't you, where it has like um, the risk of, of things that can happen to you. You know, it has one in 500, one in 100, rare, you know, all that kind of stuff. No medicine is given out to the population that will not have an effect on somebody. That's just how it is. So for them to have a blanket, sort of, you know, 100%, there's no such thing as 
even a paracetamol, you can give it to someone, it might kill them. Well, maybe not kill them, that seems a bit extreme. See, I'm going into the same story that they're doing, but you know what I mean, there are, you know, some people will take a medication. That's why they do these trials, and that's where they get that data from. They do a trial with 100 people, some take placebo, some take the actual tablet, they try it on them, and they will see, oh, this person, he felt sick. This person, oh, he had Stephen Johnson syndrome. This person, he had, you know, whatever. And then they list that on the packet, and then they can sell it as long as I assume that the majority of uh, their trials, you know, they get a certain percentage where it doesn't have all these side effects. So obviously, there may be a trial where they've done this and they found out that well, there is a like five percent chance that it can do these things, but there's only five percent chance. So we're not going to mention that. It's safe, hundred percent. It's safe. It will not give you cancer. Considering we don't know what causes cancer, how can they say that? Remember that, yeah. They don't know, and it's not 100% what causes some cancers. Yeah, we know they're linked to smoking or whatever, but we don't know the exact science behind it, do we? So for them to say, you know, it will not give you cancer, I'm sure that statement will come back to bite them. And the fact is also on YouTube, I found Professor Powell. So he's a physicist, a geneticist, and a cell biologist. And he was given a talk uh, at a school about uh, 5G and it's, and I mean, remember he's a, a geneticist and a biologist and a physicist and see he has already has research that shows that 5G and uh, cause radiation waves and that they do have effects. I believe there was also the UN that said that we shouldn't be using 5G, I'm not sure if it was then, it seems a bit of a bizarre statement but anyway so it's um, you know you can find 10 scientists and they all differ about different things and it always makes me wonder why do they all have different opinions if it's meant to be fact so that means that it is, that, I mean, things must be the same for them, but it's just the way they read statistics. We all know there are ways, was it uh, lies, damn lies, and statistics. There's always ways to conjure things up. There's always ways to blind yourself to things. So it'll be interesting how this story goes. But you see how on the media is completely ridiculed, you know, tinfoil hat, bonkers, this, that, and the other. It's, it's unfortunate that people won't take things seriously when it, when it might actually affect people. Well, it is affecting people because these people who live there are saying it is affecting them. So what are you going to do? Ridicule them and ignore them. Now let's see, how do you think about your council, your government, if that's what they do to you? Take care, take it easy. God bless and peace.